What's up, everybody? Beautiful day on the outside, giving God praise every single time. I want to talk to you about why a woman needs love. And I've got a short clip for you from the late Miles Monroe, basically talking about the same thing. But there's a few things I need to say to you, right? I want you to live your best life by applying scripture to your relationships. The passage of scripture I have for you today is Ephesians 5, 25 through 26. Ephesians 5, 25 through 26. So you can follow, you can check it out in the Bible and see exactly what it says. But I'm going to read it for you. It says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. Okay, the husband is commanded to love his wife by the word of God. It's not a suggestion. It is a command. Now, here's a short clip of Dr. Miles Monroe uh, explaining why women need love. Watch the clip. So when God took the feet, the male, the male out of the male, he did some reconstruction so that she could become a receiver. So if you study a woman, there's no place for her to give. She was created, oh ladies listen to me, this is so good. A woman was created for no other reason than just to receive, 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 receive. Give them all, give them all. Give them all, more love, more money, more attention, more care, more concern, more touching, more loving, more clothing, more houses, more shoes, more shirts, more, more, more. It's a receiver. I ain't finished with you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Now remember, in order for the giver to be complete, the receiver has to be exactly like the giver. That's why God could not go back to the soil. Do you know that they've proven scientifically that every cell in your body contains the chromosomes and the DNA for an exact clone of you. The Hebrew word that you can translate rib is not rib. It simply means peace. God produced the first clone because she had to be exactly like the giver. So a woman is only designed to be loved. She's only built to receive. That is why when you take from a woman, she malfunctions. Come on men, write that down in capital letters. That's why the Bible never tells a woman to love a man. But it commands a man to love his wife. Okay, so you've seen the clip and you actually heard the women in this clip being excited about what they were hearing and rightly so. And God designed the woman to receive love, but he also commanded the woman to be submissive to her husband. And unfortunately, this is where most women fail. Because they refuse to submit. So how can a man love a woman who does not submit to him? Okay, is not honorable and definitely not respectful. You answer that question. He can't. There is something in him that will not allow him to love a woman like that. Okay? Let me tell you this. When the seed submits to the soil it reproduces bountifully when the woman submits to her husband 
He loves her unreservedly. I want you to remember that. Let me repeat it again. When the seed submits to the soil, it reproduces bountifully. When the woman submits to her husband, he loves her unreservedly. All right, so if you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe and click the bell icon and select all so that you will not miss any new videos when they're posted. All right? Also, like and share the video. My name is William Nelson Ryan, and I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Yeah.